Hello there guys, Coast Shell here, Dogs to Born, but built for theme parks, and welcome to another Coast of Shell Reacts. This is the series where we react to videos, both theme park and non-theme park, and today we're going to be reacting to Alton Towers' video recently, Gangster Granny the Ride Behind the Scenes, and we're going to be stopping it, uh, stopping and starting it, um, just to uh, react to certain bits. Uh, so if you do want to see the full video without me talking over it, uh, make sure you go and check the link in the description down below. And for now, guys, please like, comment, subscribe, click the bell so you never miss another video. Check the description as well for TikTok, tw Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, um, and the Discord links, and your Google Forms link as well if you want to submit some video ideas for yourself. And for now, guys, let's react to the behind-the-scenes look at guys to go into the ride. Massive shout-out to Alton Towers, of course. Craig goes to them for the video, and let's get into it. So here we are on site at Gangster Granny the Ride and we're about four months into the build now and I'm standing here in scene one of the ride where the uh, royal tour begins but this is the point we meet Ben and Granny and this scene is brought to life through projection mapping, lighting and we've also got clever audio built into the ride vehicle that will help really make you feel like you are there with Ben and Granny and you're about to go on the heist of a lifetime. This is the biggest challenge we have in this scene as it incorporates so many different elements that we've never incorporated in one attraction, one scene ever before and I'm really excited to see how this one turns out. There's a whole army of experts working on Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I need to pause that bit. The most challenging thing they've done and it's the most going on. This is very exciting for me because, as you know, I love dark rides. I absolutely love them. Uh, I love the, the way they're designed. I love the, uh, the creation and the collage of different things, whether it's animation, technology, uh, ride system. Uh, and if it's an interactive shooting dark ride like Jewel at Alton Towers or Tomb Blaster at Chessington, you've got the interactivity as well. And I like the collage of, of creations in a dark ride. And I think that with this being having so much going off at once, I think it's very, very... Uh, exciting there, so uh, very, very good from Alton Towers there. Army of experts working on this, from builders who are making incredible sets to people who are making beautiful they look lighting wonderful. and animators. They look great. Making animations that can be oh, wow. all around the ride. <laughs> this all looks brilliant. Starting and working with David from the very start right through to now. Everyone has really come together to bring this attraction to life. David's voice features within the attraction as various different characters. Welcome, one and all, to the Royal Autumn Hall. Brilliant. It's a great surprise uh, for guests. He's done wonderful stuff, David. For the very first time. <laughs> I can't wait to show everyone what lies just behind these doors. Well, I've been working closely with the design team from Autumn Towers, and what I really wanted was the ride to be truthful to the book and the characters. I'm thrilled there's going to be a gangster granny ride at Alton Towers. I mean, I never thought that would happen. I didn't sit down writing the book and think, mm, one day it'll be a ride. Oh, the facade of the... That's the old Ice Age 4D theatre. That looks yet. brilliant. By the way, hang on, hang on, hang on. I need to scroll back. I need to scroll back to uh, a specific part. That bit there. That bit with the animation in the background. That just is a taste of the amazement that looks like. I mean, that's a full test run, I'm guessing, of the of the ride with all the effects on and the lights off. That looks amazing. That's a first taste of what we can expect when the ride opens. Obviously it was all obviously this whole video was released back on World Book Day a couple of days ago. And this looks incredible. Absolutely world class. So big up Alton Towers for that because that is just a taste of what could be a world class family dart ride. Can't reveal it all yet, but all will be revealed very soon. Very nice. And of course, Britain's great escape. Greatest escape, of course. Um, so very, very cool there. Very, very good video from Alton Towers. Really love that. And, uh, you know, they've done a, a wonderful, wonderful job with this. Um, they've done a wonderful job with all this. I think that... You know, Alton Towers are a really cool theme park. They've done a wonderful job with everything that they do. And, um, you know, I think that, again, like I said, this could be a world-class family dart ride. So I've got not high expectations for this. I've got decent expectations for this. But I know deep down the reason why I've got decent expectations for this when it opens 
you know, they're going to be exceeded, 110%. Uh, so hopefully, fingers crossed, I want to try and get down there for the media day. And uh, fingers crossed that will all go ahead, But uh, if there is a media day. But, um, you know, overall, once I can get down to Alton Towers, you can bet your lucky backside I will really enjoy this ride. So thank you very much, guys, for watching this video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Like I said, the original video is linked in the description down below if you didn't like me talking over it. <laughs> and uh, for now, guys, my name is Coast Shell. Keep living the coast life, and I'll see you guys next video very very soon take care guys have a gangster tastic day what what